Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this quick video, I'm going to show you some of the latest improvements I've made to the YAML generator app. These updates make dashboard customization much easier and more flexible than ever. Make sure you stay until the end to see all the new features in action. Let's dive in. Before I start, if you haven't watched the first video about how to use the automatic dashboard configurator app, I recommend watching it first. It's a short video and it will really help you understand how everything works. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, let's take a look at the improvements. I go to my website, diy-me.com, the link is also in the description, and head over to the Apps menu. From there, I select the YAML Auto Generator app. First of all, I've added a new template, an LG TV remote control. To show you the new features, I'll use the Christmas template. Everything works the same way as I showed in the previous video. You can still configure your own devices for each element. The first big difference is that I can now see the style configuration for each element. If I click on an image, a pop-up opens where I can change its location or switch it to another image. But now, there's also a new gallery button which lets me choose an image directly for the selected element. When I click it, a gallery opens. For now, it's organized by template themes, but I'll be adding more themes in the future. Quick favor before we continue. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really helps keep the channel going and supports the development of these improvements. It's free, it's just one click, and if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Back in the app, I select an image, click Replace Image, and then save the changes. In the Elements list, I can already see that the image for the star switch has been updated to the one I picked from the gallery. But there's an even better new feature. There's now a Preview button. And yes, it does exactly what you think. It lets you preview the dashboard before generating the YAML to import into Home Assistant. When I click Preview, a new window opens and I can see exactly how my dashboard will look in Home Assistant. Here I can already see the image I just changed. And there's more. I also have a drop-down with all the elements in the template. When I select one, I can adjust its position using sliders and change its size in real time. I can also access the gallery from here. In this case, I selected an element that has two state images, one for switch on and one for switch off. So I just choose which image I want to edit. Then I pick the image I want and click replace. The new image keeps the original position and size, but I can fine tune it however I want. When I close the preview, the app asks if I want to keep the changes. I click save and close. Back in the elements list, I can see that both the images and the styles have been updated. And if I open the preview again, everything looks exactly as I configured it. Now, all that's left is to generate the YAML and import it into Home Assistant. Now back in Home Assistant, I just create a new view, paste the YAML, and that's it. I have the exact dashboard I customized in the app fully working. And that's it for this video. This app allows you to customize your Home Assistant dashboards in a much easier and more intuitive way. Thank you for watching until the end. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me keep improving the app and creating more content like this. Let me know in the comments what you think about the app and if you're planning to use it in your own setup. I'll see you in the next one.